This violent sexual predator found hiding out 1,500 miles away at a homeless shelter. Tonight, the one detail that led marshals right to him. Plus, the changes the woman who Ernest Ray abused wants to see so another predator does not give police the slip. Well, when Ernest Ray was released from prison March 1st, prison staff dropped him off at this Fort Pierce bus stop, but no one had seen him since then until today when authorities got a very important call they've been waiting for, one with a physical detail about Ray that deputies never made public. For nearly two months, local and federal law enforcement authorities received countless tips, people thinking they spotted this sexual predator who was on the run. But finally, Friday, the tip they had been waiting for. Someone spotted Ernest Ray at a homeless shelter nearly 1,500 miles away in Burlington, Vermont. The tipster mentioned Ray's glass eye, a detail never made public about the fugitive. To whomever it was, wherever you are, I thank you so much for doing that, for ending this for us. This is the woman Ray abused as a child. For the last two months, she's been living in fear. You just don't know where he is, where he could be, if he's around here hiding. U.S. Marshals helped spread Ray's picture nationally through the news and social media. The tips are recognized Ray's picture from the news reports that reached Vermont. I can't express my gratitude for everybody that shared it, for everybody that commented, for everybody that was looking for him that doesn't know me. But the battle isn't over for this woman. She wants to make sure this doesn't happen to any other families. He's not the only one who's missing and their families are dealing with the same thing that I was dealing with. Calling for changes in the inmate release process for sexual predators. Put a monitor on them. Saying they should be watched until they can prove they'll follow the law. Ray will be brought back here to St. Lucie County where he'll be facing more charges. That should happen within the next week. In Fort Pierce tonight, I'm Megan McRoberts, WPTV News Channel 5.